In this video, we're going to have a look at Microsoft's new exam, the DP700. Hello, I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. The DP700 exam was announced in the European Microsoft Fabric Community Conference in late September 2024. And what it does, it builds on some of the aspects which are in the DP600. Now, because of this new exam, some of what used to be in the DP600 exam, which is implementing analytics solutions using Microsoft Fabric, have been moved into the DP700, implementing data engineering solutions using Microsoft Fabric. So what is the DP700? Well, it is for you if you do or you want to learn about ingesting, so that's importing and transforming data, securing and managing, and monitoring and optimizing an analytic solution. You need to be skilled at manipulating and transforming data using SQL, PySpark, and Kustor, KQL. This exam became available in beta or beta form on the 22nd of October, 2024. Now, how does this build on the DP600? So let's have a look at the DP600, and you can see that there are three main sections. Maintain a data analytics solution. So this is partly Power BI and partly Fabric. Prepare data. So this is Fabric. And implement and manage semantic models. So this is Power BI. The DP700 doesn't specialize on semantic models. Instead, it uses other aspects of Fabric. So notebooks, pipelines, lake houses, and warehouses. And it is these last two which are included in the DP600. If I scroll down, you can see that get data, transform data, and query and analyze data are all to do with lake houses, warehouses, and streaming data, which you will also need for the DP700. Now, what you are required in the DP600 to know as of November the 15th is knowledge of SQL and KQL. It used to be that you also needed knowledge of PySpark, but that has now been moved in to the DP700. So the DP600 is a good stepping stone to the 700 in that you'll be able to be using SQL and KQL for data warehouses, lake houses, and streaming data. The 700 builds on it with PySpark and optimizing and monitoring fabric items. So if I scroll down, you can see the DP700 study guide. So that brings you to this web page. So what I want to do in the rest of this video is to look at the study guide and see how it compares with the DP600. So first of all, configure Microsoft Fabric Workspace settings. So some of that used to be in the old DP600, but is no longer. Implement lifecycle management in Fabric. So Two of these, configure version controls and create and configure deployment pipelines, is still in the DP600. Configure security and governance is mostly in the DP600, though for the DP700 you'll be expanding on it with things like pipelines and notebooks. Orchestrate processes is unique to the DP700. So here you'll be choosing between a pipeline and a notebook, designing and implementing schedules and event-based triggers, and implementing orchestration patterns, including parameters and dynamic expressions. The next part of the DP700, ingest and transform data, is partly included in the DP600. So design and implement full and incremental data loads, and prepare data for loading into a dimensional model, has been taken from the old DP600. And by the old DP600, I mean the DP600 up to November the 14th, 2024. However, design and implement a loading pattern for streaming data is new. In the ingest and transform batch data, half of it is taken from the DP600, though you will need also to use notebooks, data flows, and PySpark. So some of these, like create and manage shortcuts to data, again, have been removed from the DP600 and put into this DP700, as is anything to do with pipelines, data flows, and notebooks. Also additional is handle late arriving data. 
ingest and transform streaming data, well, this has been touched on in the DP600, but not to the same extent that it is here in the DP700. And then finally, there is monitor and optimize an analytics solution. So this was touched on in the old DP600, but there is a much bigger focus in the DP700 for this item, as you can see, 30 to 35% of the marks. So we have got monitor fabric items, identify and resolve errors. So part of this was in the old DP600. Some of it is still needed. You need to have a knowledge of TSQL sufficient to be able to resolve issues. Now it's interesting that they put TSQL and not just SQL generally, because you can also have Spark SQL in a notebook. And then finally, there is optimized performance. So we've got optimizing a lake house table, pipeline, data warehouse, event streams, event houses, Spark performance. So most of this is new to the DP700. What might not be new is optimized query performance. So some of that could go all the way back to PL300 for the Power BI certification. So how might you want to look at the DP700 exam? Well, you could see it as the follow-on step to the DP600. So if you have done the DP600, then a logical next step could be the DP700. So you'll be adding notebooks, data flaws, and PySpark. Now, why might you do the DP600? Well, if you've done the PL300, that is a next logical step because the DP600 concentrates a lot on semantic models, which is part of the focus of the PL300. Now, if you haven't done Power BI, then you might want to skip the DP600 certification and go straight to the DP700 because it includes all of the fabric information that you need for the DP600 and more. Now, at the moment, it is in beta, which means that you don't get your scores immediately, but does mean that you can get a really nice discount if you do this before November the 12th. So you can see here, this is the Microsoft Learn blog. So the first 300 people who take this exam on or before November the 12th, 2024, can get 80% off the market price. So that reduces the price to probably around $30. However, you do really need to know what you are doing. There currently is no Microsoft training. So there is an official collection of curated content to help you get ready. However, this curated content is merely the Microsoft Learn for free Microsoft applied skills put together. It is not tailor-made for the DP700. However, these free Microsoft applied skills could be a good stepping stone towards the DP700 as they concentrate on lake houses, so creating and managing a lake house, ingesting and transforming data, and querying and exploring lake house data, implementing a data warehouse, so creating a data warehouse, load and transform data, model a star schema, query and model data, and manage security, and also implement a real-time intelligence solution with Microsoft Fabric. So you'll be preparing a real-time analytic solution, creating and loading data from external sources, loading and processing streaming data by using event streams, exploring and manipulating data, and visualizing and exporting data. This last Microsoft Applied skill requires Custo or KQL, whereas the other two require TSQL. This first Microsoft Applied skill, all about lake houses, also requires some knowledge of PySpark, which again is needed for the DP700 exam. So this is the DP700, implementing data engineering solutions using Microsoft Fabric. So it is for you if you want to demonstrate your expertise in ingesting and transforming data, securing and managing and monitoring and optimizing an analytic solution. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a like and why not subscribe and click that bell. That way you'll be notified of any new videos. Now, if you'd like more information about the DP600, then I've got a video all about the changes on the end screen. So please click on that. I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. Thanks for watching and keep learning.